Hello, I am coming on to um, share with you guys my amazing stand mixer and making homemade banana bread. We have some bananas that need to be used and my son loves the banana bread um, in the morning with breakfast. And so I make a whole bunch of it and then I freeze it. I love to use our um, brownie pans because then it's just the right amount for him. He can have one or two, depending on how hungry he is for breakfast. But these are perfect for the banana bread. We also have our mini loaf pan, if you want to make the mini loaf uh, for banana bread. I like putting banana bread in the smaller portions, and that way I don't have to slice it. Um, it comes out um, easier to use, and then I can freeze portions of it. But you can also make it in a full loaf pan if you want. But I'm going to uh, put this over here. So I have our deluxe stand mixer, and I have already mixed up the wet ingredients. So in here, I already have um, the banana, the oil, the vanilla, the egg, all of that stuff is already in here. So it's been mixed, and now all I have to do is add in the dry ingredients, the sugar, the flour, the salt, the baking soda, and all that stuff that goes in here. And then I will mix it up. I'm gonna go ahead and add this. Now, the thing I love about the stand mixer is it's got a really good motor on it, and I really don't have to feed, for this recipe, I'm not gonna have to feed this in as we go. It will slowly start off the mix, and then it will speed up after it gets it incorporated. Here we go. I'm going to go over here and adjust the setting. I want it on mix, and this two minutes and 30 seconds. I think that's probably a good amount of time. I don't think we'll need anything more than that. So let's go ahead. It's telling me to make sure I use the right blade. Um, it comes with the whipper and the uh, bread hook, but it will tell you when you pick one, which one it's intended for. It's intended for the blade. And the blade also has a scraper on the side, so it will scrape um, as long as, I mean, along the side as while it's also mixing. So I'm gonna go ahead and push the button. Two minutes, 30 seconds is good. Let's go. Now notice it's starting off kind of slow. That way the flour doesn't go flying everywhere and then it'll slowly pick up speed. It, you can purchase an extra um, guard to go over it to keep things from flying out. But for this recipe, I don't have to worry about it. I had four bananas that needed to be used. So the recipe called for three, so I did the recipe one and one third, and um, it fits in there just fine. There's plenty of room, and it is gonna be done really quick. The sand mixer has presets on it, and then it also has its own setting. Let's see if I get the camera to come over here. So you have, a, you have a custom where you can do whatever you want, but then it also, you'll hear that speeding up. I'm gonna watch it make sure that's not going too fast. Perfect. Okay, so um, oops, the right into the trash can. So it's got uh, custom whipped cream, like if you're doing uh, sugar and butter, or uh, with um, like yogurt and that kind of thing in it. Mix, beat, and knead, and they all have a preset time that would be approximately how long you'd want to do that, and then you can adjust the time up or down based on the recipe. You don't ever want to over mix because then it will be kind of it won't look the same. Um, so some recipes say to mix for a certain amount of time and want to stop. I have made meatloaf in here. I have shredded chicken in here. I have uh, made uh, a yummy dip in here, and of course banana bread, which is my son's favorite. And when I put it in the brownie pan, it is mostly non-stick, but I still spritz it with oil. I prefer to use our oil spritzer. There's no added chemicals, no added anything. When you use the aerosol kind from uh, the store in the can, there are extra things in there that will break down your non-stick coating and will leave a film. So I always recommend just using oil. You can brush it on, or you can use, get our spritzer and then you just spray it on. And it doesn't really it will be need a whole lot, but it's just enough. And then when you're done with the split spritzer, you always burp your spritzer, let the pressure out, and then I'll help it last longer. And from time to time, you can wash it and uh, wash the sprayer, but it works great. All done. Perfect. 
I'm going to grab my scraper because I'll probably need that while I am getting everything out of it. But that. And then I am going to use our brand new extra large scoop because that will be just about the right amount for my browning pan. The extra large scoop is four tablespoons. Now we have the small which is one tablespoon, the medium is two, the large is three, and now the extra large is four. This is also great for meatballs. If you're making hamburgers and you want to do like a half a cup, two scoops of this is perfect for um, hamburgers. So it is very handy. Let's scrape some of this off the blade. Avoid some of the slop coming off of it. I'll probably get this blade off if I can do it and not make a mess. I put this in the sink so it doesn't drip on my mixer. Okay. So just portion it out into my brownie pan and then it will cook. Now the recipe is that I have from Pamper Chef is for the mini loaf pan, so it won't take quite as long to bake each one. but it will uh, be close. Let's see it. I think it says to bake for 25 minutes. So I'll probably start off at, at 15 just to make sure, and then I will add more from there. So there we go. I will fill these up. Like I said, I made one and a third just because I had four bananas and I don't want to throw away bananas. I've got all the ingredients to just add their extra of everything. But what would you guys make in that stand mixer? And then do you have a stand mixer? I never had a stand mixer before. I never really thought, I mean, I loved them. I thought they were really cool. Always kind of wanted one, but not enough to invest in one. And it takes the space up because I didn't think I'd use it enough. But boy, do I love this. I don't have to babysit, I don't have to hold that hand mixer. And ours, when you host your own party, right now this is a host exclusive, you have to host to get it, but when you host your own party, and that can simply be just collecting orders, or it could be having fun with your friends online or in person, and you get it for half price. So that's just under $200, $199 and some change. And you can have your very own deluxe stand mixer with digital timer, three different mixing uh, attachments. Who knows what else will come out later? I don't know, I'm just guessing. They haven't said anything yet, but they keep that stuff real quiet as far as future plans. So we don't know. I have to suspect that this is going to eventually have more stuff that it'll do. Like I said, the meat look was pretty cool. I didn't have to get my hands into the meat to mix it. Because really, we all know the best way to mix meatloaf is to use your hands. But now I'm able to use my mixer, and the mixer did it for me. So the camera's not on my can here, but almost done. I've got four spaces left. Let's see if it's exactly enough for these. All right. Let's see. It's going to be close. Two left. And this will cook in the oven at 350. Uh, like I said, uh, probably going to be 15 to 20 minutes if I had to guess. Oh, cool. So there's that I'm going to put my scoop down and then just scrape out the last bit of this into the fourth. The last. This is so one and a third of this recipe made exactly two dozen of the browning size muffins. Sweet! Awesome. So I hope you guys like that. Very easy. Love being able to just pop it in there and let it mix and stop on its own.
And I'm going to pop these in the oven and I will show you a picture of them when they come out. So you guys have a great evening and we'll catch you later. Bye.